What's up my real fam? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not new. I want to talk about an interesting experience that I've had in the dating world. <sighs> I've only tried a handful of dating apps so far. Literally a handful. I have not tried every one because you all know them dating apps. They be crazy. I've been trying to find a dating app where you can meet poly people. You can meet people who are interested in being poly. And not just a bunch of single people who are not interested in being poly, you know? Um, so far, my favorites, my two favorite dating sites are... Oh, I'll save that for another video. <laughs> but, here's one of them. One of them is Hinge. I got on Hinge. Um, of course, I'm sure you've heard about Hinge. Hinge has been pretty popular lately. And, you know, they advertised everywhere. They had those little cute ads and whatnot, so... I fell for it and I was like, okay, let's give it a try. I was hoping it wasn't one of those crazy, um, bougie type dating apps to where, oh, you can't, um, really talk to anyone unless you pay. You can't message anyone. You can't do shit. You can't blink. You can't flirt. You can't do a damn thing. Honestly, Hinge isn't like that. My experiences with Hinge are not all that bad. I'm really glad for it because I didn't have to pay for it. Anybody got time to be paying for, um, dating apps. Like, really, they even shoot up the prices. There's no guarantee you're gonna find anyone you like, and there's no guarantee that they even know what you like, and that person might not stick around. You know, it's a waste of money. We tried it once. But yeah, my husband and I, we tried it once with another site, and it, it was a waste of money. So, yeah, I'm really glad that Hinge did not force you to pay. You can only pay if you want to, and even if you don't pay, you still have everything open. In my opinion, Hinge is pretty simple. The way they lay it out is very simple. You have your profile, you put your pictures up there, and then you add prompts to them. Prompts, you know, like cute prompts, like, you know, guess where this was, or guess where I was here, or, you know, my favorite food is, whatever, or, you know, my favorite place to go. You know, just little cute prompts like that. That's what they have you do, and you add a picture to it, and that's pretty much it. Like, you know, you, there's kind of, you get to sprinkle your personality in there a little bit along with just your picture. So you're not just paying attention to the person's picture. You got a little bit of the personality too without it being a long ass drawn out paragraph. You know, like some sites. So, I kind of like Hinge. And honestly, I got a lot of hits on Hinge. I got a lot of women to choose from. I got a lot of women to um, interact with. It was pretty interactive. Hinge is amazing. Like... I had never had so much interaction. I can't say it was like serious interaction. Like half the people up there, they were not serious. Like they weren't really poly either. <laughs> but I've had some great experiences. I've had, I, it's interesting. You know how you, these dating sites are when you try to talk to someone and the conversation doesn't last or you know, they don't really talk back. And I've got a lot of great interactions. I've had some of the best interactions, you know? Just talking to people, even if they didn't want to date or anything, just talking to them on a friendly level, and sometimes it got a little deeper. Some people would stay longer and they would talk more. It's been very interesting. Um, like I said, I hadn't found anybody on Hinge that was serious about being poly, at least not at the moment. I hadn't found anybody regarding that, but even so, I had a really good experience. I didn't come across a lot of bots or catfish profiles, because I know that's going to come up. No, they're really good with that. Hinge is really good as far as not having catfish profiles or, you know, bots or anything. I hadn't come across any, you know. It felt wonderful. Like I said, I've had great interactions. I've had really good conversations with some pretty mature people. But, you know, they weren't mature people for me, but I've had a lot of conversations. If I show you my Hinge inbox, I've talked to, like, probably 14 women. Probably 15, um most of them dropped off but you know I've still had the interactions that's the most I've had for any dating site I've never had that many interactions but I talked to these women and it was a good conversation you know it wasn't just small talk and bullshit like okay hey how you doing you're cute you know hey you're cute too yeah what do you want no oh, I'm looking for this and you know this is who I am and what I do okay cool um, alright hit me up someday 
there was actually there was extremely awkward conversations on here. Like I said, people here are pr pretty open and mature, and very, you know, they talk a lot. Like I said, a lot of them dropped off, but even so, they still talk. So, like I've had lots of amazing interactions. So Hinge is great for me, at least. <laughs> and I've heard a lot of other people say Hinge is great. The way it's set up and everything, you don't have to pay. The only issue that I've had with Hinge was that sometimes when you run out of the people you filter that you wanted, they start showing you people that you didn't ask for. They literally start showing you people outside of your league, well, not league per se, but they show you people that you didn't sign up for. They show you people of like different ages. They give you people that are not within the age bracket that you're looking for because um, I had a certain age bracket in there. And then I didn't realize that I had run out of the women in my area that they put the age bracket for. So then they started showing me fucking 19 year olds. And I'm sitting there like. Bitch, what? I started seeing 19 and 24 year olds and shit. And I'm like, hey, come on, don't do that to me. I didn't ask for that. So sometimes you gotta go back in and kind of reconfigure some things just so it'll snap back into place. But it'll just kind of pick up more people for you along the way. But that's really the only issue I've had. And I put only women, like I only want to find women because I'm already married. I don't want another man, so it's like, and again, although I did that, when it started running out of women in my area within the age bracket, they started showing me dudes. Oh no! Like, really? They started legit showing me some dudes. And I got pissed off. I'm like, what the hell? Why are you showing me dudes? I didn't ask their shit. They were literally showing me a bunch of dudes and I had to keep Xing them off, Xing them off, Xing them off. It was like, hinge why I didn't ask for that. I don't know why the algorithm just automatically does that. They should just stop showing you people once you, it runs out of your preferences of people in the area that you're in and within the age bracket that you asked for. They just need to stop showing you shit because. It is messy after that. Like I said, they start showing you people that are way under the age bracket you asked for. Hell, possibly over the age bracket you asked for. Even though I haven't experienced that. It's more so under. Like I said, I've been, they've been showing me a bunch of 20 year olds and I did not have that in there. Because I don't want, really want to deal with a 20 year old. You know, anybody in their 20s is still kind of, eh. Um, not there emotionally just yet. So, I don't know. It's just, they, they tripping with that. They just need to stop. Once they run out, I just think they need to stop. Stop trying to show you just something just to keep you interested or just to, keep, just to keep you on the app or just say, Oh, well, here's some more options for you. Why don't you try it? We know it's not what you asked for, but try it anyway. Bitch, no. So honestly, it has been great besides the hiccups I just mentioned. They do that. I'm not sure if other sites do that. Like I said, I have not been on too many as a living hand, you know. But, um, it's been great. Um, like I said, we haven't found any actual potentials up there, but it's all good, you know? It is all good. I just wanted to go on for the experience, and now that I've experienced Hinge, Hinge is pretty good. And I like it, and I would recommend it to everybody, you know? You might actually find somebody, because again, they give you the, the other good thing about Hinge is that they give you people within your area. They don't give you people outside of your state. So that's the other shit that I hate dealing with. Oh, I'm out of other sites. They only give you people within your area. You know, other sites, they give you a range. Like, okay, do you want people within 10 to 500 miles? Or some shit like that, and there's like a wide range. <laughs> it doesn't do that. They only give you people within your state. Doesn't matter about mileage, they're just in your state. Um, I think it's considered within a certain mileage still, even though it doesn't show it, but if you put the city that, the city that you're in, they'll give you people who are within your reach, you know? Probably no more than two hours away from you, which is great. You don't have to worry about linking up, trying to link with somebody from California or some shit. But I've been dealt with that, and I'm not about no long distance relationship. You know, I'm not with that. I will be able to see you at some point. So yeah, that's my experience with Hinge. Um, it's wonderful. I like all the points that I mentioned. Besides, like I said, the random people that they give you when you run out of choices, when they run out, and you can swipe to everybody or talk to everybody, and they're like. We can't find anybody for you. Let's just reset this thing. And I'm like, I didn't ask you to reset. Leave it for the long. I feel out there right now. If I have any more updates on Hinge, I will let you guys know. I just wanted you guys to know my experiences and whatnot being on Hinge as a poly person. 
<laughs> so yeah um oh yeah another thing i've met a lot of women up there who are poly they are polyamorous but like me some of them already are in a marriage they're already married to somebody and they're looking for a triad like me they're, that's most people up there I've come across some where someone, like, oh yeah, you're poly something, and they're poly single. Well, no, they're not poly single. They're poly taken. So yeah, um, yeah, I've come across a few women up there who are poly as well, but they're just looking for a third person. So yeah, that's interesting. So yeah, they hand is pretty nice and versatile and. I like the way it's set up, and I think it's great for everybody. I also don't think there's any shortage of LGBT people up there. I'm really sure it's not. There are a lot of LGBTQ people up there. So if you're looking for that, you'll find a whole lot of people, I'm sure. I'm sure there's been a lot of people on Hinge. I already know that. <laughs> Let me know if you try Hinge in your experiences. Sorry, the kids are coming. <laughs> Thank you for watching.